Hi everyone, this is Dirk. Thanks so much for tuning in. And today we're going to take a look at the Pergear 60mm f2.8 Ultra Macro Lens. It has a 2 times magnification. Now, I'm not a macro photographer. I don't have many experiences in this field, but I'll do my best to give you a good overview and a good review. There was absolutely no paperwork at all in this box. This was a little bit surprising and it's the first time ever this happened. Now the Pergia 60mm f2.8 Ultra Macro is a very solid built lens with a metal body and I truly appreciate this kind of build quality. It has a very unique front and I think it looks pretty cool. As a photographer for me it's always better to have a clicking stop when I change the aperture so I can change it by accident but of course for filmmakers it's an advantage to have a smooth and click free aperture change. The focus ring goes buttery smooth but it takes quite some turning until you reach the two times magnification. So time to look at sharpness in the center and the corners. Already at f2.8 we have a perfect center sharpness while the corners are still a little bit soft. As soon as we stop it down to f5.6 we have perfect sharpness everywhere. After f11 naturally everything is a little bit softer. Although on the website it says the minimum focusing distance is 19 cm or 7.5 inch I was able to get so much closer to my subject. And take a look at these results. You're able to see the texture of the paper of this bill. This lens has a mild pincushion distortion and it suffers from some vignetting that gets much better after a 5.6. To test for chromatic aberration and ghosting I recorded this video against strong backlight. We have pretty impressive results so far. And now it's time to test it for what it's actually built for. Let's take some macro photos. I was really curious to see how this lens performs. So my first victim was a Swarovski bunny and I'm using the magnifying tool as a focus assist. I focused on the bunny's eye and whoa, I was impressed. This is a really sharp lens. Now, off to the next challenge. Trying to capture moving subjects, butterflies to be specific. And this close distance, the smallest movement brings the subject easily out of focus. And my first pictures were really not great, if I even got to take pictures. Because I was not used to quickly, manually focusing. So my butterflies escaped. But it didn't take long to get used to this lens. And after a few minutes practicing, I was able to take some decent pictures. And I got better and better, so we finally have a chance to talk about image quality. This is a $230 lens. And for a lens at this price point, I did not expect an image quality like this. It is very sharp and delivers really great results. So I did not have a tripod, I did not use special lighting, and for me, it was the first time ever to take macro photos. I only can imagine what amazing photos an experienced photographer will be able to create with this lens. So, what do you think about this lens? Is this something you would purchase? It currently retails between $200 and $230 and it is pretty sharp and I think it is very usable. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this and please tune in soon again. And if you liked it, leave a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Bye for now.